I'm bearish on um, mobile phones as a medium, uh, as, as, a, as a media platform in America. Um, it's, the, the technology is abysmal. I mean, absolutely abysmal, as anyone with almost any you know, phone short of an iPhone can tell you. Uh, and the iPhones, you know, only, only uh, you know, one um, carrier device at this point still, unless you're like, you know, you can hack all this stuff. But that, 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 that's not, that doesn't really make for a kind of mass media sort of play. Um, I guess I, I just don't see it happening. There, there, there are other countries that um, dealt with the technology much more wisely. Um, there are other countries that it was obvious this was going to become a really crucial cornerstone media device. Uh, in terms of accessing other media, um, like Japan and, and um, Japan in particular, because of commuting patterns and broadband penetration, um, there hasn't been that kind of you know market demand, m that market need, and it's frankly locked up in the hands of you know several different um, telcos who have not ever shown a real ability to play, you know, to engage in the media world in a sort of a non-stilted and excruciating way. I, I just don't see that changing. Despite all the um, positive buzz for Facebook, which has sort of come at the expense of MySpace, MySpace remains much bigger, you know. Does that persist? Does MySpace, is MySpace able to do a better job of making a dollar off their users because there may be a lower expectation of privacy and a kind of clean, you know, um, ad-free, spam-free experience. Um, what happens with newspapers is interesting. What happens with the Wall Street Journal is interesting. What happens with the New York Times is interesting. What happens with network television um, is interesting. They've held on to their ad share really, really well. Does that continue? I mean, does the model finally start fraying and breaking down? And does web video start to, does that become additive or subtractive for the, for the big um, players? Um, you know, does something like NBC and News Corp's Hulu, does that help? Does that not make a difference? Um, and certainly um, I and everyone else, I guess, is waiting for um, Google to flick an on switch for an ad solution to YouTube, which immediately makes that a very big ad platform. Um, so a, a lot of the same things, you know, um, continue. Uh, and I mean, I just, as a, a general fan, an obsessive fan of certain kinds of music, you know, how that model disintegrates and what comes up in its place is very interesting. Um, Radiohead got a lot of ink and, you know, not undeservedly so. But it's interesting that, um, you know, Radiohead signed a deal to put out physical CDs of in rainbows in stores. Um, the real trick will be, you know, if someone really big, you know, does a Radiohead, does a pay whatever you want for a download and then doesn't do a CD or they just do a CD themselves. That, that will be really interesting because that will show that there's a, there's a checkmate move that, that a band, a big enough band, can pull against a, a record label. And um, that just makes that business that much tougher for the established players. All right, John. Well, thanks a lot. Really appreciate your time and, uh, and your predictions and your thoughts and being on BTV. Who knows? Some of them might even come true. <laughs>